grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said today, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel today for this brief daily message of hope and inspiration. And I do pray that uh, this week is ending on a good note for you, that you are able to encounter the goodness of the Lord and the goodness of this world. Uh, in the midst of a time when no one wants to look at goodness anymore. But I'm going to today because my positive message for us today is that's what I want to ask you. What makes you think in your mind of the goodness of this world? When you think of goodness, what sort of images, thoughts, or dreams, or songs come to your mind when you think of goodness? Uh, that's an important question because I would really like for all of us to start focusing on goodness now, uh, knowing that uh, uh, we're going against the flow when we do that. But let me just illustrate how that works in my mind. I was uh, coming back late last night from a, uh, Our Lady of Mount Carmel a festival service uh, mass, and I drove by on the way home uh, a little small, sort of a vacant lot uh, that had been set up as a baseball field. And there were some little bitty boys and girls out there with a few coaches uh, playing baseball as the sun was going down. And they were playing and uh, they were running and I slowed down for a little bit and watched and I remembered when I used to do that. And I remembered the goodness that uh, came into my life through baseball. And when I Hear that song that I just played, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I get tears in my eyes because I remember good days in my life. Goodness. I remember not only going to baseball games, but playing in baseball games with my dad as my first baseball coach and learning how to throw a curveball and learning how to do a hook slide into second base and all of those things. And those were good thoughts and happy thoughts. Uh, in my mind, and they brought joy to my heart. What brings joy to your heart? Think on those things. Uh, this morning when I got up, I was thinking about one of the most incredible movies I've ever seen, being a baseball aficionado, a baseball addict, some people would say. The movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner and James Earl Jones, uh, where uh, Kevin Costner tears up part of his uh, a farm in Iowa and builds a baseball diamond. And uh, people think he's crazy, but James Earl Jones comes to believe in him. And there's a little speech that James Earl Jones makes uh, at the end of the movie where he's t talking about the importance of baseball. He's playing a character uh, called Terrence Mann, and uh, Kevin Costner is playing the role of Ray Kinsella. And here's what James Earl Jones says. He says, the, the one constant through all these years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt, and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, it's a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good, and it could be again. It reminds us of all that was good and it could be again. We've all been through very difficult times, um, not only right now, but in the past. We've come through some very hard and difficult times as individuals, as we grow older, as a nation, as we flex muscles and then retrench and, and worry and panic and go into depression and recession and the markets rise and the markets fall, uh, hopes soar and hopes die. We've been through some hard times but it's important for us to remember what makes us think of goodness. I've got the answer to that, and I want you to think of this. It's uh, from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8. Because choosing to think of good things, like baseball, for me, I don't know what it might be for you, it's important, and the Lord wants us to do that. Here's what St. Paul writes in Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, 
Think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Think of the good things and especially think of the goodness of the Lord who has not only come to be among us and has remained with us and given us his spirit to empower us, uh, but he's promised us eternal life if we'll just believe in him and do what he wants us to do, which is to love him, to love each other, and yes, to love ourselves. We're here to love and serve one another, not to fulfill our own selfish uh, whims and fancies as may come into our minds, because we all have a default mode in our creation as human beings that is selfishness and self-centeredness. Don't go there. Think of the good things. To me today, I'm thinking of those little boys and girls playing baseball and knowing that they're carving memories in their life, just like I did. Memories of goodness and of good times and of joy. Yes, even when we strike out, it's still a great memory. God bless you and have a wonderful day today. I'll see you right here again tomorrow.